stanky leg. Oh, some more harder. Reducing expressions with rational exponents. And here we go. If we see this guy, this is 121 to the three halves. Then I have one of two things. I have the square root of 121 to the third or a more preferred, a more preferred, I have the square root of 121 to the third. Yeah, I have one of those two forms. This one leads to big numbers. It'll still work out. But here, let's work this one out. That's 11 to the third. And then I heard that that guy, he gonna be 133, one. 1331. Yeah. 11 is the king of palindromes. So then, fox and flower. I'm on up over here. At first you think this isn't real. But it is. Sure, why? Because the three halves is only on the minus 16. Ooh. So I have a minus, wait for it, square root of 16 to the third. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa there. So then that's a minus. What's the square root of 16? Oh, it's four to the third. And again, the three is only on the four, so that's a minus 64. Yeah. Uh, box and flower. To our more extravagant example, I know. This guy, let's take care of that minus. Why so negative? The negative and the exponent are gonna make it eight. 20 sevenths to the four third and then I heard that that's the third root there's a three in the kink and then that's to the fourth power of eight twenty sevenths but then you go more the third root of eight is two why because that's two times two times two there's three twos so that's a two mm -hmm. and then there's three threes and twenty seven mm -hmm. and then that's all still to the fourth power finish him yeah finish him two to the fourth that's sixteen three to the fourth three times three is nine times three is twenty seven times three is 81. Fun. And then what? Yeah. Uh, box and flower. Freaking stanky leg. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>